it's possible to be infected for years with the virus that slowly crippled this young woman and not even know it. Doctors say worldwide, some 20 million people carry the virus, called HTLV-1, or human T lymphotropic virus type 1. The vast majority of carriers have no symptoms and are not aware they're infected. Está bien. At age 13, sí, Cynthia sí, Okada sí, began to have trouble walking. My feet were clumsy, and sometimes I would fall for no reason. The children would make fun of me a lot. There is no effective treatment to relieve her condition or to get rid of the viral infection and she gradually lost all use of her legs. This is especially difficult for Cynthia because she lives in the steep hills surrounding Lima, Peru. A hundred stone steps trap her in her home. Her family is far too poor to move downhill. Cynthia has barely left the house in 10 years. A ver, quisiera... What I would like to have is work, to be able to sustain myself economically, to be able to cover my own needs without having to ask anything from anybody. Doctors say Cynthia most likely became infected with HTLV-1 as a baby, breastfed by her mother, who was unaware of her own infection. At the time, her mother had no symptoms, but now she too is crippled and confined to their home. Oh, I would love to get a little better, to be able to walk around some, to help in my house. But it's much more common for the virus to be transmitted through blood transfusions, shared needles, and sexual contact. That leads some people, even doctors, to confuse HTLV-1 with HIV, the virus that causes AIDS. HTLV-1 patients say they suffer the same kind of discrimination long endured by people who test positive for HIV. That's why this patient wants to hide her identity. She's visiting Dr. Eduardo Gattuso, one of the world's leading experts on HTLV-1. She cannot stop that movement and produce a problem from her. Now the director of the Institute for Tropical Medicine in Lima, he has studied the virus for 20 years. He says in addition to problems with the legs, HTLV-1 can also lead to certain types of cancer. They have a small deadly leukemia, that is very slow leukemia or chronic. Then you have a cutaneous lymphoma. Then you have lymphoma, it's non-Hodgkin lymphoma. And then finally you have acute T leukemia. And these diseases have the worst prognosis in the malignant disorders. Everybody is dying in less than one year. This patient is responding well to treatment for leukemia related to HTLV-1 infection. In an effort to prevent the spread of the virus, he helped convince Peru and Brazil to screen blood donors for hidden infections. And he's trying to convince all Latin American nations to do it as well. They need to do a blood screening. Colombia or Ecuador or Venezuela, they have money to do that. And they have the virus. And for me, it's unfair to transmit it to one lady the, the, the virus, and then the lady is coming pregnant, and then they, they provide breastfeed to the kid, and the kids are affected. And this kid has leukemia 30 years later. And for me, that is unfair. Peru has also been successful in persuading many sex workers to use condoms, preventing the spread of HTLV-1 and other sexually transmitted diseases. But any sexual contact can transmit the virus. The people feel the risk is only when you go to the female sex worker. Say, no, 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 any partner. If you are monogamous, it's okay. But if you have other partner, that uh, sexual intercourse is dangerous from different diseases. And one of these is, of course, is HTLV-1. People who don't know they have the virus are still capable of passing it on. Almost 90% of these people are asymptomatic. But all the time they, they are contagious, as any other retrovirus. You are transmitting all your life. Dr. Gattuso calls HTLV-1 one of the world's most neglected emerging diseases. Because the people feel that ah, this is 
uh, is a very isolated problem, but really it's not an isolated problem. This is a worldwide problem. Those who study it face the challenge of convincing people to pay attention to HTLV-1, a mysterious virus threatening the health and mobility of people at risk in many parts of the world. Gary Stryker, Global Health Frontline News.